Good morning, everyone. So it's about 10 o'clock on a Sunday, the 14th. So to me, that's still morning, maybe pre-noon at best. Uh, so I've been putting this off and putting this off because it's been hot and I've been lazy. And the heat finally came to the Pacific Northwest. You know, the last several days it's been in the triple digits and just not really motivated to get out in the garage when it's that freaking warm. So what I've got is something that I mentioned in the last video that it's going to be a little divisive, you know. It to me, it's hilarious, and mostly because it's tacky and it's inappropriate and it's a little crass, and that's right up my wheelhouse because it's just fantastic. But some of you guys are going to hate on the video, and that's fine uh, because there's going to think it's a pandering or it's jumping on a bandwagon or and it, or something. I don't know. I don't. Not really that worried about it. It's my bike, I'm gonna do it up how I wanna do it up. So, that being said, let's get back into the garage here. Cause we're gonna do this one out in the driveway. It's nice, it's only 80 degrees so far. So, let's see here. Got that wonderful Made in the USA sticker. This is from Boss Fab. We already did a Boss Fab on the Street Glide. That was that, that moose knuckle uh, linkage. Cause like I said, it's crass, it's inappropriate, and that's why I love it. So, pulling that out, let's get a little baggie out of the way here. I don't want to show you my address. I don't need you people knowing where I live. So, all right, we'll just put that on the floor. So, what we've got is an internet meme. And you might have already figured it out, but it's hilarious. And it's going on the Springer at the moment, because you can see Springer's right there. I don't know if it's going to stay on the Springer. It might end up going on the Fat Boy, because the styling I think is more appropriate for the Fat Boy, and what's on it is I think more appropriate. But I'm riding the Springer more these days, so I'm going to put it on there for now. But what we've got, yep, yep, that Hawk Tua thing. So that's going to go on the Springer for now, but from Boss Fab. You can see it also comes with the new hardware. These Heim joints, which I've learned from the first one, that they eventually start to squeak as you're shifting, and that's driving me nuts. I've been too lazy to fix it on the street glide. So I'm going to, since so I don't have assembly lube or anything like that, I'm going to just do a little, just a skim coating of like some anti-seize on there might not be what I should use, but it's what I'm going to use. So that being said, let's head back over to the bike here and get on, all right down here. So that's a half inch acorn nut. That's a seven sixteenths nut right back there. That's gonna be kind of a witch to get in there because I don't have like the, the angled uh, oh, box wrenches. I've just got these straight ones, but we can get in there. It's gonna be tight but we're gonna make it happen. So let me go ahead and pop this off. I would do this real time, but because this one is gonna be such a bear, I, I don't wanna just make this be a 30 minute video while I'm fighting hardware. So I'll pop this off and we'll get it laid up next to the other one and kind of show you the, the differences. All right. So as you can see right out of the box, the distance from heim joint to heim joint is the same as the stock linkage. So I don't have to fiddle with anything, but if I did, I just loosen these jam nuts here on either side and spin this heim joint in and lock it back down. But I didn't have to fiddle with that with the street glide. I don't have to fiddle with it on this one. So comes with the hardware, another half inch acorn nut. And then now we've got these quarter inch hex heads on the other end for reinstall for reinstallation, good lord. So I am going to throw some blue Loctite on those. I'm going to get the NICs on here. Again, might not be the right thing, but it's what I've got. And, you know, is it stupid if it works? I don't think so. And with the packaging, you get a sticker, which I've already got one. So, and what I do with these, I just get some of those flexible magnets and stick those to a flexible magnet and put them up there on my HVAC or probably over there on my toolbox now. But 
comes with the install directions, not that you really need them, but they're there. And they do, as you can see, timing covers, air cleaners, shift linkages, derby covers, all kinds of stuff. Here's the guy's info, you know, over at bossfab.com. So, and I've seen them do all kinds of wild and crazy stuff. So, if you don't see something on their website, you can always give them a holler. I'm sure he can square you up. So, I'm going to get what I need as far as the anti-seize and the Loctite and get this over on the bike. So, hold up. All right, and that's it. So, did Loctite, both of them. To take this old one off was a bit of a bear because, like I said, I kept bumping into the, the jug here and... You know, and all the blue Loctite that Harley used was kind of fighting me, but we got there. And you'll notice one thing with these new ones, they go behind this shift arm, not in front, because if you do, you end up at this really weird angle for the, the linkage. So you go behind it, a little bit of Loctite, and then you're all set. So those heim joints allow it to kind of move around a little bit, and I'm really hoping that the... Uh, uh, Locked or not the Loctite, the uh, NIC that I put on there helps keep, keep this from squeaking. Eh, well, nothing else we know is not going to lock up on me. So there's that. Uh, but that's it. And like I said, I know some people are going to hate it, you know, and that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, these are our bikes and we do them up how we want to do them up. And that's okay. And that needs to be okay. Because if we all did the same thing and we all liked the same thing, then we would just keep our bikes all stock. So. There's all the little personal touches that we do that fit us, our personalities, our sense of humor, whatever. And you can't take life too seriously because as a wise man once said, nobody gets out of it alive. So that's it, you know, real simple. It, it really takes five minutes, maybe seven. So uh, as usual, questions, comments, concerns, love, hate, drop it down below. I get back to everyone. So until the next time, We'll catch y'all later. See ya.